launched uh, Azalea Magazine 14 years ago. And so we were looking for a way to expand the brand and do something different. We always kept coming back to a bar and, and we knew that, that if we were gonna do anything in this town, it was gonna have to be something that wasn't here. We first opened it was just this building we had a garden out back and we saw that we were turning 60 to 75 people away Friday and Saturday nights each night we had to put up a rope um, I didn't want to use rope it seemed kind of cheesy but we didn't know how to do it um, but yeah probably 60 to 75 people on a Friday and Saturday night would come couldn't get in and would just leave and so we knew we needed the space the town's growing like crazy and it's only going to grow more so we added a, a connecting building. Um, we have a parlor now, which is kind of like a, a classic seating room. There's no bar in there. It's just an extension of this space. And then we just opened our new um, champagne room, which has got a completely different menu. Um, champagne or bubbles from around the world. Um, and then I think nine or 10 bubble cocktails too. We change our menu seasonally, so we the, the drinks that really catch on are fan favorites. You know, we we um, we keep those on, and then we usually add three to four drinks um, every season. Our food menu doesn't change much. We we basically said let's present it a little nicer than, but we're gonna we're gonna have traditional Southern food. I did most of the design, Dottie did most of the photography for years, and, and we always talked kind of, it was like this ongoing narrative of the town. Like we were, we were doing a huge like history project basically on this town. And um, so we looked, we did a lot of history, we did a lot of historic homes, um, did a lot of stories on people, artisans and things like that. And so we kind of, gathered all of that stuff and the look and the feel and all that the, the stuff that we really cherished about the town and tried to put it in a in a space from my from my best knowledge it's 1920 and it was um i think it was a, a butcher first then a fish market when I moved in here in like late 90s, it was a little restaurant. Um, this building next to us was a clock repair place and a, a seamstress, I think. And then just recently it was a modeling agency. Um, but we looked at plats and stuff and this building was a like that's the original connection of the two buildings from 1920. And there are still little, little kitty prints on the floor. So when, when we poured the concrete, a little kitty walked by, walked through, and so that was the big thing. People didn't want us to mess up yeah. kitty prints. People, people, what they tell us is this is our play, favorite place to go. And so we want to, those special moments, we want to have them here. And that's really, I mean, that's the best part about any business, I think. We've always wanted to just create something that makes people happy. Um, and so we kind of gauge success on, like we get way more excited about someone coming and saying, thank you, we needed this, rather than, hey, look, we had a, we had a really big night.